Oh, and it's their road to me as well. My dear Magda, my parents were glad to hear from you, from your father. Please tell him they wish to hear from him soon. Speaking of printing, your ink was well received indeed. I've made several prints with it. They look lovely on the wall. Elisha, I think, has taken to making his own ink from scraps he found around the house after he saw yours. Mother was furious when he spent several fennings trying to print, uh, find lapis at the market. She set him scrubbing the floors for it. Took him three days. I'm glad you're keeping busy, even though it keeps you from visiting. Father says we'll have room whenever you decide to make an appearance. And if you do take over the shop in passing, you'll have to make visits to Prague for supplies. Who knows, maybe you'll meet someone here. I've made a good match, too. Before the expulsion, there was a handsome man at, at synagogue. Oh, I didn't know that's how he said it. It's like at church. Huh. Sa Simon. Simon? Hmm. Who caught my eye? He's, I thought he was, just to clarify, I thought he was at the synagogue or in the synagogue with a the, but not. Either way. His father is a merchant and he's a doctor. He went to the University of Padua. Can you believe it? I'd quite like to marry him if I can find him again. <laughs> anyway, I think you'd have even better luck than me. The boys would soon at a beautiful blonde artist from the Alps. Please keep us abreast of your father's mural. We'll have to come see when it is finished. Blessings. Esther. I'll have to write the stair back tonight. I should head home and check on Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? Uh, Magdalene. Sitting upright is still a struggle, I'm afraid. The dizziness makes my stomach turn, so I'd rather not eat at the moment. Are you sure I can bring up something light, like milk or broth? No, no, I can't stomach anything just yet. But tell me, where are you off to? I need to get started on the first part of the mural today. The old history. Mother Illuminata didn't know much about Tassing's early history, but she did give me a few places to start. I'm going to ask Black Till and... Yeah, I don't remember Black Till. If his grandfather told him any stories. Illuminata said he used to read about the Romans. Mother Illuminata, Magdalene. Oh, right, yes, Mother Illuminata. Young Kreutzer has mentioned those tales from time to time, yes. He comes by to borrow books now and then. Usually when he's found some interesting old ruin out in the fields, you might ask him about that. Il Peter's always harumphed about how no one paid attention to the old ways anymore, too. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell about old Tassing. You might stop to talk to him. Oh, I, I didn't think of that. Thanks, Dad. Of course, Magda. It's nice to feel useful, even if, even if I'm stuck here in bed. Nonsense. I'm just glad you're awake. You might talk to Smokey, too. The old charcoal burner seems to know more about what's in the woods around town than anyone else. That and he's a known gossip. Oh, I know. He told me that he saw Artemis and Kraft swimming together in the pond just last week. Oh, Lord, I can't imagine the fit Veronica would have if she knew. Well, I'm not going to tell. I trust the spirit to, convin to convict them, since I cannot. Well, Smokey may know who else you should talk to, then. You may hear something worth your while at any rate. I'll go talk to him. What about the ruins or the mines? I can't just use books and stories alone. I want to explore whatever is left over from the Romans and before. The salt mine and Roman ruins are the oldest parts of Tassing, so it only makes sense to see what they left behind. Ah, you take after your mother. She was always through or thorough in her research. You always said that's what good artists do, Dad. Be careful, all right? I know the twins mess around near the salt mine, but I don't want you getting hurt. 
The twins? I don't know why York doesn't keep them in line. Always making trouble, those two. Oh, they're big York's kids. Uh, right, that's, that's, yeah, we've seen one of them at least. They don't have brains enough to keep out of trouble. I do. <laughs> I should hope so. You're the one running the shop for now, after all. Don't forget your other chores while you're running around town, all right? We still have a household to run. I'll get them that. Good, good. I'd better get going if I want to do all of that today. I'll see you later, Dad. Good luck, Magdalene. Will I actually be able to do all of that today? Or is it a choice that we have? Because I think the first one to do is uh, go to Smokey's and ask about the old stuff. Let's go. Should go there right away, I think. Let's go to the mill first. Hey, y'all talk? Elsie does. Magdalene, can I help you with something? Uh, I came to see how you were doing. Well enough, even if I don't know why you care. Because Paul is my friend, as are you. Dear Paul, he's grown into a good man. I almost failed him, just like I failed my... My poor... Dead... Leonard. Leonard? I've always heard he was an awful man. We had our problems, but it wasn't his fault. The people here made him that way. You know how the peasants are, so he was quick-tempered sometimes, but he had to be. He was under a lot of stress trying to live up to his father's expectations, maintaining a good standard of living for us, his family. It wasn't all bad. With all his faults, he didn't leave me alone. But he did. His own actions caused what happened in the end. He was only doing what he had to. He only... What does it matter now? I'm alone. Forever alone, carrying the weight of death. Leave me be, please. Ah, well, we, we always knew that she was... She was very complicit in the whole thing, wasn't she? Uh, in regards to... Uh, well, he brings her riches, doesn't... Didn't he? And, uh, that's why she turned a blind eye to the way he treated Paul and stuff like that. Or at least he seemed like he did. Uh, and Andreas? Whose kid is Andreas? We don't know that yet, I don't think. Let me look at the journal here. See if we have people. No, we don't. Magdalene. Hey, Paul. Good morning, Magdalene. How's the mural coming along? Well, I think. I'm off to start the first part of the mural today. I'll paint the founding of Tassing and the Romans. Well, you won't want for any models. Tassing is littered with Roman ruins. It's almost a nuisance. What sort of mural are you creating, Magdalene? I believe Klaus was planning a f on a fresco. Well, I, I'll start with the intonaccio and then paint the fresco over it so that I have a clear consistency. Ah, I see. Do you have enough uh, plaster? The red house wall is so large, I was worried I it wouldn't stay wet for long. Since when did the mu town miller know so much about art? It's been an interest of mine since I childhood, but my father disapproved. After my mother and I left Tassing, we'd stayed with her family for a few months before we heard what happened. Your father's friend, Andreas, he encouraged me to draw. While we were away, I studied in my uncle's library. I have collected books about various art styles since we returned. I had no idea, Paul. Why didn't you want to paint the mural yourself? <laughs> I'm not nearly as skilled as you or your father. I know I had my doubts about you taking on the project, Magdalene, but you're the most skilled artist in dancing. After your father, of course. Ah, well. Anyway, I'm I'm glad the mural is going well. Forgive my sudden questioning about it. I've been busy preparing the council's next meeting. I haven't had as much time with Anna as usual. Oh, so Andreas is... Oh, there we go. So Andreas is his son. And he uh, married Anna. And Anna... 
is inside. Right, I'm I'm getting I'm getting the, the, the well it, I should have guessed, I suppose. Uh but Anna, Anna, Anna is inside. Uh and he has two kids, as it turns out. She says I get a bit frantic when I'm overwhelmed. Is the council working on something new? We're considering yearly maintenance checks on every house in Tassing, says Bass, uh, Paul. The idea has had quite a bit more pushback than we had anticipated. New ideas always face some kind of opposition. I don't think you should let that stop you. Thank you, Magdalene. I understand the hesitation folks like to look after their own homes, their own land. But this would help protect those in Tassing who don't have the skill to fix things themselves. Widows like Agnes or Gret. In any case, the matter is far from resolved. I imagine spring will come before anything is actually done. I'd better get back to work. Thank you for letting me interrupt your day, Magdalene. God bless you. Until later, Paul. Alright, so we are uh, exploring everything before we go and do our chores. But let, yeah, let's go inside. Yeah, Ulrich. So, Anna... Right. Okay. Ulrich and Andreas are the kids' names. Did we ever go into the inn? I don't think we did. Before. Killian. Hi. And Nico should still be around, perhaps. Nico doesn't seem to be around. There's people upstairs, though. So let's go upstairs. There it is. Nico? Oh! Inverter. Magdalene. Tell me something. If I must. I'm your elder, and I'm on the council. Why was I cursed with a life in Tassing? What does this pathetic little hamlet have to offer a man like me? Tell me, Magdalene. You're drunk again, aren't you? I was destined for the courts of kings. Not a town full of peasants who churn out more of themselves than the rabbits in the meadow. A town where craftsmen, learned men like myself, balters, even your father, have their minds wasted. And in a few decades we will be dead, and Tassing will forget us all. God doesn't care. He never cared for me. He deserted us all when the abbey was destroyed, if he even exists. You don't deserve this place if you can't see its worth. Just a gaggle of fools and churls. You know, I've tried to do what's best for all, but none of you listen. It's only argue, argue, argue. You, Klaus, Jorg, Baltus. I still can't believe you're working with him. You should be at home looking after your father. Pick herbs for whatever provincial remedies you still hold to. Do something you're fit for. I'm doing... I'm going to do nothing less than exactly what I want. It is improper and unnatural. Just like you. I could have found a wife in Nuremberg. It's Tassing that's the problem. Not a woman here ever looked my way. <laughs> oh, you'll never find a husband with that attitude of yours, girl. I'll be fine. For now, before the weight of the real world settles on your shoulders. Your father won't be around forever. May not even last the winter. Then what will you do? I'll survive. I have people who care about me. Can you say the same? Do what you want, Magdalene. Just don't ruin the mural. Not that it matters, anyway. And Nico doesn't say anything. <laughs> I wonder why Nico is there. That's kind of silly. See you later, Killian. Yep. Ooh, we can look at the background. I didn't see that before. Snow is creeping down the mountains. Winter will be here soon. Yep. Yeah, these will never open. I don't think. Did the fire catch this one here as well, I wonder? Let's look at the roof. Maybe the... Oh, we can't see very well. Yeah. Oh! Martha! Oh, hello, Magda. 
You wouldn't happen to be going to the convent. Are you, why do you ask? Are you thinking to join the poor clares? Maybe. Oh, that's a nice idea. You think so? Um, I'm not sure. Be honest, what do I have to look forward to? With Dad's injury and me unwed at 25, older than all the boys in town, if they don't see me as a sister, they see me as a mum. And when Dad dies, not anytime soon, God willing, I won't be able to claim the farm. I'll lose my home. With Anton gone, there's nobody to take it over. I don't know who Anton is, but I imagine... I don't know who that is. I understand times are tough, but are you sure this would really make you happy? It would bring me closer to the Lord. Shouldn't we all want that? Why not withdraw from the trials of the world? You know as well as I that it's not safe out here. <laughs> the abbey's walls didn't protect it during the revolt. Sooner or later the world comes knocking with swords. I don't like to think about things like that. I have enough worries to keep me from sleeping as it is. But joining the poor Clares is a lifelong commitment. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I think you should join the sisters. I mean, what other prospects do you have? But I fail and she doesn't join the sisters. Maybe. Well, I could leave Tassing entirely, find a suitable husband. It would be daunting, but it's possible. Just because I don't have prospects in Tassing doesn't mean I can't find some elsewhere. I don't quite want to give up on the rest of the world just yet. Besides, I still have Dad to take care of. If I joined the Order, he'd be on his own. I don't think it's the right time for me to join the poor Clares. Maybe someday, but not yet. Thanks for talking with me, Magda. I've had a lot on my mind. I'm glad I could help, Martha. Until later, be well. Mm. And we are in the Abbey. Sister Gertrude. God bless you, Magdalene. God bless you, Sister Gertrude. Are you doing all right? Father Thomas told us about your father's attack. You were incredibly courage courageous to run to Dr. Stoltz so quickly, especially when the attacker could have been about. That's thanks to you, really. Without reading Hildegard's Physica, that's the medical treatise by Hildegard of Bingen, Bingen, potentially, saint and doctor of the church, it presents nine categories of healing. Plants, elements, trees, stones, fish, birds, animals, who are not fish or birds, reptiles, who are neither fish, birds, or animals, and metals. I wouldn't have realized he was so badly hurt. Well, I am glad she came in useful, although I wish it were not in such dire circumstances. I lit an extra votive candle in St. Satya's shrine for each of you this morning. And there are small candles lit during prayer in churches, symbolizing a specific offering or request on the behalf of the prayer saint. Or prayer giver, rather. Dad says the pain has gone down, but Dr. Stoltz is worried about the brain hemorrhage. Hmm. I might have some psyllium left in the herb hut. If you blend it with broth or warm wine, it will heat his brain and prevent infection. I pray you're right. I'm trying to keep busy with the mural, but sometimes I just want to cry. The Lord he hears your tears, Magdalene. Take solace in his everlasting goodness. He will turn this for good, no matter what things look like now. He sees beyond time itself, but we are constricted by the present. I have been around long enough to see his fruits, even when I thought the devil had burned the fields. Keep faith, Magdalene. Thank you, sister. Your words warm my heart. God bless you, sister. God bless you, Magdalene. Little kitty. Little kitty doing little kitty things. Ah! <laughs> little kitty didn't like that. It wasn't doing that before, was he? I don't think it was. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if we can do anything about um, the pain management and whatnot. Sister Margaret.
Francisca. God bless you, Magdalene. I had been hoping to speak with you. Do you perhaps have a moment? Uh, of course, Mother. How can I help? I heard I had heard that you had taken up the mural in the rat house after your father's terrible attack. Yes, I'm excited to paint the town's history. Mm. Your enthusiasm and insistence is most troubling to some people in town. Some people? Yes, Magdalene, myself included. I understand how you must have struggled with your mother passing while you, you were so young. Without a maternal figure to guide you, it is no wonder your spirit has wandered and wavered from its nature. I'm not sure what you mean, Abbas. The pursuit of such trades is not for women, but men. As Paul writes, God calls women to work at home, not in trades. While supporting your father is laudable, taking on his work is imprudent. There are plenty of young men in Tassing worthy of you, or perhaps you have a different calling. As in women in Tassing worthy of you. That's not what she means, though. I'd like to offer you a place here among the sisters. Wait, who's saying I'm troubling? And how did you hear that anyway? Aren't you all stuck up here? Magdalene, your insistence to paint the mural has been the talk of the town. Even the sisters hear something of what affects Tassing. But if you must know, Father Thomas suggested that joining the convent may be good for you. I agree with him. Father Thomas. I might have to talk with him about this. I pray he can offer the guidance you are looking for, Magdalene. God bless you. Yeah, I'll guide, I, I'll guide my fist to his teeth is what I'll guide him. <laughs> she doesn't have that sort of retort. But, um... Hmm. Father Thomas, huh? Worrisome. But not necessarily unusual or unexpected. Oh, Father Thomas, where are you? He's not here. He is. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Magdalene. Hello, Father Thomas. You look troubled. What's the matter? I seem to have lost the key to the tabernacle. Without it, we'd have to go without the Eucharist on Sunday. I'm sure I could find a way to get the tabernacle open. The lock shouldn't be that complex. Absolutely not. I won't have you picking your way into the tabernacle. Even for a righteous purpose, I don't like the prospect of it. Now why on earth do you know how to pick locks, Magdalene? All women do. It's just a matter of being a good wife. We have to be able to manage our financial finances. I mean, family finances. Hardly amusing, Mistress Drukarin. Regardless, I won't have you forcing your way into the tabernacle. I'll find the key eventually. I won't leave Tassing's sanctification at risk. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for it, Father. Thank you, Magdalene. Please let me know if you have an idea as to where it might be. God bless you. Hmm. I wonder if Sister Emily has been or has seen the tabernacle key anywhere. I should talk with her. I should. Indeed. If I ever see her. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. But it is a thing. God bless you, Magdalene. God bless you, Sister Emily. What brings you to the church this time of day? Lighting another votive candle for your father. I was hoping to speak with you, sister. I ha Have you seen Father Thomas's tabernacle key anywhere? He's misplaced it. I'm afraid I have not. Everything in the church has been as it should be. Though I did hear the two Gertner children come in last evening. I did not rise, but I heard their whispering for a moment. They left as suddenly as they came. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't think anything of it. Many people came into the church throughout the week. This is a sacred place, and the people of Tassing respect it as such. They respect my privacy in this place, and I respect theirs. You've surely overheard something, even if on accident. I have, on occasion, but not during their recent visit. The twins' intentions last night may have been good. If not, however, it would be Christian to remind them that theft is against the Lord's commandments. 
They're always getting into trouble. Maybe I'll just tell Father Thomas they took the key. There is nothing to prove that the twins' visitation and the key's disappearance are a more... They are more than a coincidence. And yet, I advise that you do what you feel is right in your heart. Thank you, sister. God bless you. God bless you, Marpilla. Hmm. The eavesdropper. A key to salvation. Father Thomas, I found the culprit. God bless you, Magdalene. God bless you, Father Thomas. Uh, I think I know where your key went missing. Oh, you found it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Magdalene. You do have it, don't you? Um, not quite, but I know who does. Sister Emily said she heard the twins in the church last night. Those fickle little ratbags. No matter how many times I warn the, uh, of the suffering they could endure if they do not seize this nonsense. They continue in their impious, imp impesh... What? Impetuous. Impetuous ways, that's what it is. I swear the devils in those children, naming them after pagan gods in a wonder. I shall have another talk with their parents, I think. Your piety shines all the more brightly in comparison to their iniquity. It's about time their actions caught up with them. Indeed. God bless you, Magdalene. Ooh, the snitch. <laughs> oh, well, I am gossip, after all. <laughs>